Hi, my name is Zach Wagner, and this is Ashtanga Yoga Full Primary Series Half Vinyasa Format. So I've done a lot of research, and David Williams, the first American to practice Ashtanga Yoga with Patabi Joyce in the early 1970s, says that this is how it was taught to him. All the asymmetrical positions, for example, Janusasana, head to knee pose, where we stretch first the left leg, and then in today's modern style, we jump back and go through vinyasa and jump through again. But in this style, that David Williams says is we stretch the left leg and then we stretch the right leg and then we jump back to plank and other similar positions like Ubaya Padangustasana like this instead of jumping back and going to Vinyasa we just would go Ubaya to Urba Mukha so it takes out about 10 or 12 jump backs and I have found that is much more soothing for my shoulders and my neck and my, my mind as well. It just puts less stress on our practice and takes the ego out of it a little bit more. So let's find ourselves standing with the feet together at the front of the mat as we start the sun salute. Heels and toes together, standing straight in Samas Titihi, our equal position. Feel your feet firmly rooted down hands in prayer, and just take a moment to ground and center. Remember, our breathing is all through the nostrils for the entire practice. It's called that ujjayi breath. It's like a hissing sound in the throat. So let's begin. Here we go. Suri Namaskar A. Salute the sun. Hands by your sides. Inhale, hands up. Join the palms overhead. Look up at the thumbs. Exhale, full bow. Take your time. Maybe... Bend the knees a little. As you inhale, maybe fingertips on the floor or the shin look in front of you. Exhale, step back to the top of a plank. Lower down, exhale. Inhale, upward dog. Pull the shoulders back. Exhale, flip the toe to downward dog. And we breathe five times there. Five deep breaths. One, grip the floor with the hands, feet about hips distance apart. Two, look towards your navel. Three, strong arms and legs. Four, deep, powerful breathing through the nostrils. One more time. And five, big step to the front. Feet together, heels, toes, touch, front of the mat. Inhale, face up. Exhale, head down towards the knees. Inhale, hands up, reach overhead. Join the palms, look up at the thumbs. Exhale, hands down, only stand straight. Two more times. Inhale, hands up, reach. Exhale, fold, head down, bow. All the way down, round the face in. Inhale, look in front of you, hold the floor or the shin bone. Exhale, step back to plank, chaturanga. Exhale, elbows towards the ribs. Inhale, point the toes, arch, upward dog, chin up. Exhale, flip the toe to downward dog. And we breathe five times. Look towards your belly, one. Grip with the hands, sink the heels. Two, exhale fully from the guts. Three, the nostrils are flaring. Gallons of oxygen in the lungs. Four, push the sit bones up. And five, take a big step to the front of the mat. Heels and toes together, head up only, inhale. Exhale, head down towards the shin. Inhale, hands up, reach overhead, join the palms, look up at the thumbs, exhale, hands down, stand straight. Again, inhale, hands up, reach, exhale, fold head down, bow the head a lot, hands on the ground, inhale, look in front of you, full breath in, exhale, step to plank, carefully go down, exhale, inhale, open the chest, upward dog. Flip the toe, exhale into downward dog, and we stay there, and we breathe five times, patiently. One, getting into our breath, get out, getting out of our head. Two, powerful exhalations. Three, gallons of oxygen in the lungs. Four, emptying all the stale air from the base of the lungs. And five, take a big step to the front of the mat. Inhale, face up, full breath in. Exhale, head down towards the knees. Big inhale, hands up, 
reach overhead, join the palms, look up. Exhale, stand straight. Suri Namaskar B. Chair pose, inhale, bend the knees, join the palms, overhead, inhale. Exhale, fold, head down. Inhale, face up only. Exhale, plank, step back, all the way down. Inhale, arch, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take a big step with the right leg in between the hands. Inhale, join the palms. Look up, make sure the back heel's flat. Exhale, go down. One breath per movement. Empty the lungs. Hover. Inhale, arch, upward dog, shoulders back. Exhale, flip the toe. Big step, left side, warrior one. Join the palms overhead. Bend the knee a lot. Look up, reach. Exhale, right back down, plank. Tight core, empty the lungs. Inhale, invite the chest through. Exhale, downward dog. Stay there and breathe, calm and patiently. One, two, we're boiling the blood with a breath. Three, keep pushing your sit bones up, sinking the heels. Four, breathing through the nostrils one more time. And five, big step to the front. Inhale, full breath in, face up only. Exhale, head down. Pull your head in towards the knees. Chair pose, inhale, bend the knees, reach. Join the palms overhead, look up. Exhale, stand straight, hands down only. Chair pose, inhale, hands up. Exhale, bow, head down all the way. Inhale, face up only, full breath in. Exhale, step back to plank, lower down all the way. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog, warrior one, right side, big step. Inhale, join the palms overhead, look up. Exhale, right back down to chaturanga. Empty the lungs, chest towards the floor. Inhale, arch, look up. Exhale, flip the toes. Left side, warrior one, big step. Hands up, inhale, reach, look up at the thumbs. Exhale, right back down. With no ego, we go. Inhale, upward facing position. Exhale to downward facing position. Breathe five times in downward dog. Look at your navel. One, press the arm strong, shoulders two. Keep pressing the sit bones up. Yoga breath sound check. Keep breathing deep. Three, four, raw enthusiasm in the breath. And five, inhale, big step to the front. Face up only, full breath in. Exhale, head down all the way. Round, deep, you're getting warm now. Bend the knees a lot in chair pose. Inhale. Hands up, join the palms overhead, look up at the thumb. Exhale, stand straight. Chair, inhale, hands up. Exhale, full head down. Inhale, full breath in, face up only. Exhale, plank, you got this, keep going. Inhale, invite the chest through, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right leg, big step. Inhale, warrior one. Join the palms, look up. Arch, reach. Exhale, right back down. Plank, chaturanga, hover. Inhale, sound. Exhale, loud. Left side, inhale, warrior one. Hands up, reaching. Exhale, right back down, move through the vinyasa. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. And we stay there and we pump the lungs. One. We are strength and power personified. Two. Nostrils flare. Three. Four. Five, big step to the front, inhale, land face up, exhale, head down all the way, chair pose, inhale, reach, hands up, 
Exhale, stand straight in Samastiti He. Pad and Gustasana, feet apart, hips distance. Take your index and middle finger, fold over and catch your big toes. Inhale, face up, look in front of you. Exhale, head down and relax. Be natural and neutral. Five breaths. One, two, three. Relax your mouth and jaw. Four, and five. Padahastasana. Inhale, face up. This time, stand on your palms so the toes touch the wrists. Again, you inhale, face up, one breath, exhale, head down, and again, we breathe for five counts. One. This is soothing yoga therapy, calming our nerves and our brain. Two. Three. Remember to breathe. Four. We're charging our batteries with the breath, and... That is five. Slowly inhale, face up. Exhale, fully there. Stand up slowly, inhale. And heels and toes together. Stand straight, front of the mat. Trikonasana. We step out to the right, three feet, arms out to a T. Turn your right foot to the right. Hinge out with the right hand. Maybe catch your shin or your ankle. If it's easy, catch your big toe with the index and middle finger. Drill the feet down and we look up at the left thumb. Breathe for five counts. One, two, three. Focus on your breath. Get out of your head. Four, five. Strong backbone. Bend the knee. Inhale. Hands up. Arms out. Heel toe to the left side. Hinge out. Go down, reach. Again, do whatever you did before. Maybe catch the shin or the toe. And we look up at the right thumb. All the fingertips are together in the right hand. And we look up. One. Two. Strong legs. Drill them down. Work the feet into the ground. That's about three. Four. Slowly bend the knee. Five. Inhale. Up, arms out, heel, toe, turn around. Revolve, pavarita. The left hand maybe goes to the floor, the shin, the leg, outside the foot, wherever you can reach. Look up at the right thumb. Five deep breaths, square the hip back. Expand through the chest and the shoulder. Reaching, one, two, three, four. Look down for balance. Five, slowly bend the knee, inhale, up tall, arms out, heel, toe. Take your time to transition. And again, this time, do whatever you did before. Right hand on the ground or the shin, wherever you can reach, maybe outside the foot. Look up at the left hand, upwards, gazing, reaching, expansive breath. One, two, draw the breath in your lungs. Three, four, and five. Slowly look down for balance. Inhale, stand up, arms out to a T. Gracefully step to the front of the mat with the feet together in Samas Titihi, mountain position. Parjvokanasana, step really long out to the right again, arms out to a T. Turn the right foot to the right. For beginners, forearm on the right leg, left palm over the head. Advanced, right hand outside right foot. Look at your left thumb over your head. Breathe five times. One, we're spiraling the ribs towards the ceiling. Two, three, really powerful breath in this challenging pose. Four, and five. Inhale, up, heel toe, left side, bend the left knee a lot. Whatever you did before, maybe elbow on the knee or left hand outside the foot. Look at that right thumb over your ear. One, roll the chest to the sky, chin to the armpit. Two, three, work the back leg and knee. Three, four, five. Inhale, up tall, arms out, 
heel toe, turn around, left elbow to the right knee, and a prayer twist exhale. Stay right there. If it's really easy, you can go deeper, but it's best to just stay in that elbow to knee position. One, two, breathe deeper in a twist because the, because the diaphragm is contracted. Three, four, five, slowly inhale, arms out, heel toe, other side, right elbow, left knee, exhale, hook it in there. One, keep breathing deep. Two, three, push your back heel and pinky toe in the ground. Four, one more time. Five, slowly inhale, up tall, arms out. Step to the front of the mat, feet together in Samus Titi. Prasarita Pad Otanasana. Both hands on the waist, step to the right, all toes forward now. Inhale, arch, head up. A position, palms flat on the ground, exhale, in between the feet, fingers facing forward, inhale, face up, one breath, exhale, head down, maybe head touch or not, one, breathe five times, two, three, try to relax, be softer here, think of it as a rest pose, four, and Five, slowly inhale, face up only. Exhale completely right there. Catch the waist, both hands, inhale, stand up. Exhale fully. B, inhale, arms out. Exhale, catch the waist. Inhale, arch, push the pubic bone forward, look up, head back. Exhale, fold, we keep the hands in the gut, squeezing, and we hang unsupported Surrendering to gravity, letting the head drop. One, we're pushing the feet down. Two, three, really strong legs. Four, now pushing through the feet so much. Five, inhale, swooping up in one breath, rising up. Exhale fully. C. Inhale, arms out. Exhale. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale. Look up. One breath. Crack open the sternum. Peel the shoulders. Open the throat. Exhale. Fold. And we stretch the arms. Don't overstretch here. Be careful. One. Two. Slow it down. Three. Four. And five. Pushing through the feet. Swooping up. Inhale. Rise. No T for D. Hold the waist. Exhale fully. Inhale. Arch. Push the waist and thighs forward. Head back. Open the chest. Exhale. Index middle finger. Hook the big toes. Catch. Maybe a little shorter stance for D. Inhale, face up. Exhale, head down. Arms out like a box. Pull. Drill the feet down. One. Two. Feel the sides of the feet stretch. Three. Four. Feel the yoga kick in. The blood's getting hot like liquid gold. One more time, and that's five. Inhale, face up, exhale fully there. Catch the waist, both hands, inhale, stand up all the way. Slowly step to the front of the mat or jump the feet together. Stand straight, Samas Titi Parjvotanasana, side leg stretch. You can take a wrist behind your back, elbows, or Reverse prayer. Whatever feels most comfortable. For me, it's a wrist nowadays. Step out to the right, three and a half feet. Turn around. Heel toe. Turn the right foot to the right. Turn the trunk to the right. Inhale, head up. Navel over the top of the right thigh. Forehead towards the shin bone. Exhale, go down. Breathe. One. Two. 
three, four. Upon arising, push that right knee forward for safety. Slowly, five, inhale, up, heel toe, 180 degrees to the left side. Head up to the left, turn that left hip back. Slowly, exhale, fold, head towards the knee. Maybe a slight micro bend to be safe. One, deep breath into your hamstring. Two, three, pumping the lungs, gallons of oxygen into the fibers of the lungs. Four, one more time. Exhale, fully push that front knee forward. Five, slowly inhale, stand up, take your time, step to the front of the mat, feet together. Utita Hasta Padangustasana, the left hand's on the hip. Maybe you just catch the right knee or take your index and middle finger to your right big toe. Go for it, give it a try, straight leg, breathe. One, look down for balance. Two, three, Stand tall, ninja grip, four and five. We bring it to the side. One, two, three, hold on, steady, four, suck up the guts, and five. Inhale to center, exhale, bow, head touch, one breath. Inhale, head up, both hands waist and point. One, super dancer, two, activate the quad, three, hollow the navel, four, and Five, release. Left side, do whatever you did before. Catch the knee or the toe. Right hand on the hip, bring it up. Here we go. One, ninja grip. Two, three, four. Powerful breathing. And five, to the side. Look down to the right, stand tall. One, two, Three, four, five. Slowest movement. Inhale, center. Exhale, bow. One breath. Inhale, head up. Both hands, waist and point. One, two, three, up. Four, five. Exhale, stand straight. Feet together. Ardha Bada Padmottanasana. So you're going to take your right leg up in a basic tree pose. You're going to hold it underneath the ankle and the shin. Bring the heel towards the navel. Maybe you stay right there. Or you can fold with two hands. Or you can take the right hand back to catch the foot and the left hand on the ground. Either way is fine. One. Two. Three. Four. One more time, five, inhale, high up on the fingers, exhale fully, bend the standing leg, inhale, stand up slowly, exhale, release, left side, inhale, catch the foot from under the ankle and the shin, draw it up towards the navel, maybe stay right there, just standing straight, or fold with two or one hand, whatever you did before. Maybe that left hand wraps behind the back and catching the foot. Exhale, go down and breathe for five counts. One, two, three, four, steady, Five, inhale, head up, exhale fully, high on the tips of the fingers. Inhale, stand up slow, stand straight, feet together in Samas Titi He. From here, we take a full salute. Inhale, hands up, join the palms overhead, look up at the thumb. Exhale, fold head down, round. Inhale, face up only. Walk back to plank carefully, don't rush. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Utkatasana, chair pose. Step to the front of the mat. Join the palms together overhead. Look up at the thumbs. Make sure the feet are touching. One, two, 
three, sink lower, reach higher, four, five, squat down, inhale, step back to plank, exhale, empty the lungs, chest towards the floor, inhale, open into upward dog, exhale, downward dog, warrior one, right leg, big step in between the hands, we join the palms overhead and we look up at the thumbs, powerful breathing, one, two, three, fearless, four, five. We transition to the left side, heel toe, 180 degrees to the left. Bend your left knee a lot, look up. One, two, three, four, five. Open your wings into warrior two. Look at your left middle finger. Externally rotate your left knee left. One, two, suck up the guts. Three, four, round the tailbone under. And exhale fully. Five, heel toe to the right side. Look at the right hand middle finger. Externally rotate the right knee to the right. One, two, stand tall. Three, reach both your arms with enthusiasm. Four, and five. We windmill down to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, go down. Inhale, upward dog. Downward dog, exhale. And this time we walk or jump cross-legged into sitting. The transition is completely different. And we sit down on our butt with straight legs in dandasana, with the palms flat, by your sides, sitting tall, smoothing out the ruffles of the breath. Think of it as a meditative position. We're moving the fleshy part of the sit bones out of the way. Here we go. One, two, look down at the tip of the nose. Three, four, and four. Five, Paschima Tanasana, forward bend A. You're going to take your index and middle finger and catch your big toes <clears throat> only. Inhale, head up. Exhale, head down, relax. One, forward bends, pacify your brain. Two, just be natural and neutral. Three, Four. Exhale fully. Five. For B, hold the toes. Inhale, head up only. Exhale fully. Catch the top of the foot, the outside of the foot, or interlace for your furthest grip. Again, inhale, head up. Exhale, pull your face down towards the shin or wherever you can reach. One. Two, three, four, and five. Slowly inhale, head up, exhale. Release. Pavatanasana. Take the hands back, one foot behind you with the fingers facing forward. Reverse plank. Straight arms. Maybe you just lift your heart and arch the back and stay right there, pushing isometrically. Or you can push through the heels and the legs and thrust the thighs and the pelvis up. Inhale. Up. Five breaths. One. Two. Extend. Three. Up, four, push the arms head back, and exhale, five, sit down. Cross the legs, knees up towards the chest, roll over the ankles, hands on the ground, push to plank, exhale, chaturanga, go down. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog, and you carefully walk or jump cross-legged into sitting for Ardha Bada Pada Paschima. Tanasana. Straight legs, sit down. 
from here, we take our right foot half lotus. Half lotus is heel towards the navel on top of the left thigh. If it's too hard, just keep your right foot on the floor. Either way, you can reach two hands to the foot or one hand by wrapping that right hand back. Left hand to the left heel. Inhale, head up. Exhale, head down. One. Two. Three, four, focus on your breathing, exhale fully, five, inhale, head up, exhale, release, change your leg, whatever you did on the other side, left foot, half lotus position, heel towards the navel, you can reach two or one hand for the extended leg, catching, Inhale, head up, exhale, fold, head down, head towards the shin. One, two, three, four, exhale fully, five. Inhale, head up. Exhale, release. With a steady pace, we keep going. Cross the legs. Exhale, walker, jump back carefully to plank. Empty the lungs. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Triyanga Mugaheka Paschimottanasana. Sit down, inhale, walker, jump. One leg transversely placed backwards. So we take the right knee, we bring it back, the knees are close together. We move the fleshy part of the calf out of the way. Maybe sit on a left block under the left hip if it's really challenging. Reach maybe the hands for the floor, or you can catch the foot if it's easy. Exhale, go down. One, two, three. It's okay to feel uneven in this pose. It's normal. We're creating symmetry in our limbs. Four, Powerful breathing one more time, and that is five. Slowly inhale, head up, exhale, release that leg. Other side change, left knee back, remove the fleshy part of the left calf out of the way, and do whatever you did before. Maybe just touch the ground and reach a little bit, or inhale, catch the foot, head up, exhale, head down. Pump the lungs with gallons of oxygen. One, two, empty the stale air from the base of the lungs that has been there for years or decades. Three, try to slow it down. Four, Five, inhale, head up. Exhale, release. Straighten out the legs, then we cross them. Walker, jump back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. And Janu Shursasana A. Walker, jump into sitting with straight legs. Basic head to knee pose. Right foot, inner left thigh. Turn the trunk to the left, grow tall, inhale and reach any way you can towards that left foot, maybe on the floor or interlace. Head up, inhale, exhale, head down. One, two, soft shoulders, mouth, neck. Three, yoga calms our nerves and our brain. Four, and Inhale, head up, change, straight legs, left foot, inner right thigh. <clears throat> Catching, inhale, head up, do whatever you did before. Exhale, go down, relax, be natural and neutral. One, two, three,
four. Five. Slowly, inhale, head up. Exhale, release. Cross the legs. With no ego, we go. Walker, jump back to plank. Exhale. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. John Yusrasasana B. Walker, jump into sitting. Inhale, straight legs. This time, we bring the right foot in like we just did. Maybe you do A again if it's challenging on the knee. Or you sit up on top of the foot by lifting yourself up and putting the heel under the pelvic floor, perineum, or cervix. Again, inhale, head up. Exhale, head down, and breathe. One, reach any way you can. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, head up. Exhale, release. Use your hands to lift up. So you move that foot out of the way. Be careful on the knee joint. And now we sit on the left foot, or you just do A again, set it up nice. Inhale, head up, catch the foot. Exhale, head down. One. Two. Three. Four. Exhale fully. Five. Inhale, head up. Exhale, release. Pick up, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Janu Shirsasana C. Toe torture. Again, walker, jump into sitting. Sit down. Take your time. Straight legs. This time, maybe you just do A again, or you take your hand underneath the ankle and you scoop the pinky toe downward so the heel presses into the navel, stretching the meridians of the feet. Maybe be careful and just go a little bit with the fingertips on the ground or catch the foot. Inhale, head up. Exhale, head down. One. This one is intense. Two. Just get through this pose. Three. Four, wrathful yet subtle breathing. And five, inhale, head up. Change, other side. So we stretch the left pinky toe downwards or you just do the basic A position again. Do whatever you did before. We need to be symmetrical and even. So set it up. Catching, inhale. Exhale, head down. One, stay with your breath. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, head up. Exhale, release. Cross the legs. Pick up. Inhale. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, sound. Exhale, loud through your nose. We enter into the zone of Marichi. A lot of binding and new postures now. So sit down, inhale, straight legs. We draw the right knee up and the right foot is flat outside the right hip. You take the right arm in front of the right shin. Maybe you just stay like that if you're on the stiffer side. Or you take the right hand and the left hand behind the back. You catch, inhale, head up. Exhale, head down. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, head up. Exhale, release. Change. Left knee up. Left foot flat outside the left hip. Left arm reaches in front of the shin. We Externally, wrap it backwards and catch both hands. Inhale, head up. Exhale, head down. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly, inhale, head up. 
Exhale, release, cross the legs, keep going, steady pace. Exhale, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Marichyasana B, sit down, inhale, walk or jump, straight legs. For B, we take the left foot, maybe you just keep it on the ground if you're on the stiffer side, with the right knee up. It's almost the same position as A, except the left knee's bent. If it's easy for you, left foot half lotus. Remember, half lotus is heel towards the navel. Tip that left knee down, right foot flat outside the right hip, right arm in front of the shin, catch it back. Inhale, head up, exhale, head down. One, two, three, four, exhale completely, and five. Inhale, head up, exhale, release, straighten the legs out. Practice whatever you did on the other side. So maybe right foot down on the ground, left knee up, arm in front, or right foot half lotus, heel towards the navel. Tilt the right knee down, draw that left foot flat, extend the left arm in front of the shin so you can get it towards the armpit or the shoulder. Exhale, wrap it back, catch the hands, bind. Inhale, head up, exhale, head down, and pump the lungs. One. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, head up. Exhale, release. Cross the legs. Pick yourself up. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing. And we enter Marichyasana C. Walk or jump cross-legged. Sit down, inhale. Straight legs. Right knee up. Maybe if you're on the stiffer side, you just hug it with the left elbow crease and use the right hand like a kickstand as you look over the right shoulder. If it's easy, lift that left arm up and externally rotate it around the leg Bind the hands and look to the right. Grow tall. One, two, three, four, and five. Revert to straight exhale. Other side, left knee up. Maybe just hug it with that right elbow crease. Or if you're flexible, reach it around. Binding, look to the left. Grow tall. One, push that arm in the leg to gain length out of the top of the head. Two, three, four, and five. Release, exhale. Cross the legs, pick up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. And marichyasana, D. Inhale, sit down. Straight legs. If you're a beginner, maybe you just bring the left foot flat on the ground and the right knee up with the right foot flat. And again, hug it with the left elbow crease. If that's easy for you, you can try taking the left foot half lotus position heel towards the navel. Tilt the left knee down, right foot flat. Again, maybe just hug it with the left elbow crease or externally rotate that shoulder around. And binding, look to the right, grow tall. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale straight. That's a very challenging position and sit up the other side. So maybe the right foot flat, left knee up, hug it with the right arm, or right foot half lotus. And again, hugging it with the arm or wrapping it around externally. And breathing for five. One, two, grow tall in your twist. Three, four, five, exhale, release. Come out of that position. Pick up, steady pace. Exhale, chaturanga, go down. Inhale, upward dog. Downward dog, exhale. Here we go, Navasana, boat pose. Sit down, inhale, our peak position. You can have a little boat with bent knees or have straight legs. One, two, three, four, and five. You cross the legs, knees in the chest, press the ground. Lift yourself up, inhale. 
any way you can. Again, back to boat pose. Four more rounds. One, two, three. Powerful breathing. Four and five. Cross the legs. One breath. Up, inhale. Again, back to boat pose. One, two, three, four, and five. Cross and lift. Inhale. One breath. Up, right back down. Again to boat. One, two, three. You got this. Four, five. Cross and lift. Inhale. One breath. Again, back to boat. One, two, three, four, and five. Cross the legs. Jump back to plank. Keep going. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing. Exhale. Downward facing. This time, Bhujibhadasana is different. We jump the feet around the hands. Maybe you stay in a squatting pose with the hands in prayer. Or if it's easy, you can build an arm balance by taking the arms underneath the legs and we build a gymnastic apparatus by crossing the left ankle under the right. Five breaths there. One, two, three, four, and five. And we go to crow pose or get to plank any way you can. Step back. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, upward dog. Downward dog, exhale. And Kermasana, the tortoise. We jump the feet around the hands again, and we sit down all the way first on our butt. Then we, we prepare the position. Maybe you modify and you create a diamond shape, and you take the hands underneath the ankle. If it's easy for you, have a slight bend in the knee and stick your hands back with the palms flat, with the heels as wide as you can. Maybe forehead or chin on the ground, and you look at the third eye. One two, three, powerful breathing, four, and five. For the modified variation of sleeping tortoise, B, you create a diamond shape with the heels close together and you hold under the ankle and you pull your face down. If it's easy, you can take the arms back and you try to bind the fingers and maybe even lock the legs behind your neck but you don't have to go so deep into the state of the position. Sleeping tortoise, five counts, here we go. One. Try to slow it down here. Two. Three. Withdraw your mind from the world. Four and five, and then we exit. And we jump any jump back any way we can. Maybe we build a firefly shape for one breath. Inhale, rise up. Flip the toe, bend the knee, and go to crow pose. Exhale, plank. Inhale, upward dog, or just vinyasa any way you can. Exhale, downward dog from there. Garba Pindasana, walk or jump into sitting. If you're on the stiffer side, you can cross the ankles, and you hold the feet, and you make yourself like a little baby in a womb. If you have a lotus, right foot first, left foot on top, maybe just give it a hug. If it's easy, you can take your arms through your lotus hole, right arm first, then the left hand sticks through there, and you try to reach for your face with your hands like Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone. Breathe five times. One, two, this posture takes away nervous anxiety. Three, four, and five, and we roll up and down or in a full clockwise circle, but up and down is fine if you're just learning. Rock and roll, rock and roll, up and down a few times, and then we lift into Kukutasana with the palms flat, and we lift up off the ground. One, two, if you can't do the lotus, you can just lift cross-legged. Three, like we did in the boat pose. Four, you look at the tip of the nose, lift the chin, and five, release. Come out of that contraption. Jump back from sitting, cross-legged or from lotus if you're really fancy. Inhale, lift up, suck the knees. Exhale, kick out. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. And we enter some easier positions. Baddha Konasana, sit down, inhale. Bound angle position or cobbler's pose. So we bring the heels towards the pubic bone. Take the thumb to the inner arch and peel the feet open like a book. Inhale, head up. Exhale, maybe chin to the floor one day. One. Two, three, four, and
and five. B, inhale, head up, rounded head to toes, exhale. It's very similar. One, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, head up. Jump back to plank, exhale, or stay seated if you're tired. I understand. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Upavishta Konasana. Walk or jump into sitting inhale. Wide leg straddle. If it's challenging, have a slight bend in the knees with the palms in front. Or if it's easy, catch the big toe or outside the heel. Inhale, head up. Exhale, maybe forehead or chin touch. We look at the third eye and breathe five times. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. B, we balance on the sit bones. We hold the toe or the foot wherever you can reach and try to look up towards the sky. Find your center. Balance. One. <clears throat> Two. Three. Four. And five, we change the grip to the big toe and we roll backwards for Supta Konasana. One, wide leg plow. Two, if it's challenging, just do happy baby on your back with wide legs. Three, four, and five. In one inhalation movement, we rise up. One breath, exhale, touch the calves down and the head. Inhale, head up, release. Exhale, jump back. Inhale, upward dog. Downward dog, exhale. And then we walk or jump and lie down on our back for Supta Padangustasana. Straight legs. Take your right foot, big toe in the sky. Bow your head to the knee. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, head down. Keep a hold of the leg. Leg to the right. Look to the left. Set it up. Try to breathe a little slower in B. One, two. Expand the fibers of the lungs. Three. Four, five. Inhale, bring your leg up to center. Exhale, head touch, one breath. Inhale, head down. Exhale, release. Right away, left side, catch the big toe. Exhale, head to the knee. One, right hand on the right thigh. Two, three, quick breaths here. Four, and five. Inhale, head down. Don't let go. Exhale, leg left. Look over your right shoulder. Set it up. Breathe slow. One, two, three. This posture creates good sleep. Four, helps take away symptoms of insomnia. One more time. Five, inhale. Bring your leg up to center slowly. Exhale, head touch. Inhale, head down. Exhale, release. You can stay there, jump back from sitting, or do a back somersault known as Chakrasana if it's easy for you. Exhale. Inhale. Upward dog. Downward dog. Exhale. Ubaya Padangustasana. Jump through, lie down flat, straight legs. Catch both big toes with the feet together at 90 degrees. Roll back for one exhalation. Inhale, roll up. And balance on the sit bones. Look up. Point the toes. One. Head back. Two. Three. Four. And five. For Urdhva Mukha, you bend the knee. You catch the outside of the foot by the heel. And you pull your face in, looking up at the toes. One. Two. Three. Four. And five, release, exhale. Cross the legs, jump back to plank. Empty the lungs. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Setu Bandhasana, bridge configuration. Sit down, inhale. Maybe just skip this pose completely and never do it, or you can give it a try if you want. Charlie Chaplin feet, heels together, toes out, push through the feet, get the head back like fish, legs towards straight. Inhale, push through the feet, hands like a coffin, around the chest. Inhale, get on your head. One, two, squeeze all the muscles in the core. Three, push through the legs, strong legs. Four, 
and five, drop the elbows down, release, lie flat. You can jump back from sitting or if you know Chakrasana, back somersault, exhale, plank, empty, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. And we enter into back bends, jump through, lie down flat, and we set up a bridge. So we build our bridge, soles of the feet flat and wide, about as wide as the mat, maybe interlace fingers or ankles if it's easy, shimmy the shoulders under, push the chest into your face. You can stay there the whole time or go into inverted bow pose, Urdhva Dhanurasana, hands behind the head and push. Up, one, two, three, four, and five, head down only, exhale, inhale, right back up, one, two, breathe, three, donkey work, four, and five, exhale, head down only, inhale, right back up, one, two, three, use your arms and legs, push, four, and five, tuck the chin in, be careful, lower down all the way, lie flat, and feel the effects of backwards bending. If you want to lay there for a while, you can, but you're always welcome to do more vinyasas by sitting up and jumping back to plank or going through your backward somersault. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. And our counter position, forward bend again. Straight legs. This time we reach our furthest grip. Go down. Maybe palms flat. One. Two, ten breaths this time. Three. Exhale, super strong from the guts and the root of the navel. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more time. Exhale completely and ten. Inhale, head up and just lie down and we move directly into our inversion shoulder stance. So we swing the legs up, we catch the back with the hands and we look up at the toes. Again, this is for 10 breaths as well. One, two, three, four, five. Feel your blood going in the opposite direction. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we set up plow. Toes overhead. Maybe they touch the ground or not. Maybe palms locked, flat, or holding the back. Eight breaths. One, two. Exit any time if you need to. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Karnavitasana. Knee to ear pose. Squeeze your knees with the head literally. One, two, breathe strong here. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold it back. Go into shoulder stand again. Urva Padmasana. Maybe just do cross legged shoulder stand at the shin or you can build a lotus upside down. You can use your hands if necessary. Maybe hold the back or push against the knees. Eight breaths. One, two, three. Find your center. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. From here, we bring it into Pindasana, womb pose. Maybe hold the back and make it a little ball or give your lotus a hug. One, two, three, four, five, stay with the breath, focus, six, seven, eight, palms flat first, inhale, roll down for fish pose, matsyasana, maybe in cross-legged or in lotus, get the top of the head back, maybe hold the feet if it's easy, one, pump the lungs, two, this tones the thyroid and the throat, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We extend into a ton of Padasana. Straight legs, one, hands up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Dig the elbows down on the ground, release, lie flat for a moment, and take a few breaths.
You can stay there for a while if you want, or just instantly go to Chakrasana, jump back, or any way you can. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. From here for headstand, it's just a kneeling vinyasa, and we set it up right away. Tuck the toes under. Go into headstand for 15 breaths. Up. If it's too much, just rest in child's pose. One, two, 15 breaths. Three, four, suck up the guts. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exit anytime. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, half bend, B, butt out, 1, straight legs, 2, 90 degrees, 3, rest if you need to, 4, 5, 6, powerful breathing, 7, 8, 9, and 10, straight legs up, inhale, and straight legs down slowly, and relax in child's pose for a few breaths. Feel the effects of the headstand. One more time. Rise up to plank. Inhale. With good form. Exhale. Chaturanga. Last one. Inhale. Upward dog. Exhale. Downward dog. And we walk or jump into sitting. Last time for yoga mudra. So we find ourselves in cross-legged, maybe with the palms in front if you're on the stiffer side, or a wrist behind the back. If it's easy, feel free to build lotus, right leg, then left leg, maybe even Baddha Padmasana, left hand behind the back, and then the right, reaching for the feet, and the head goes down for 10 breaths. One, two, make sure your pelvic floor is contracted vigorously. Three, and we're looking at our third eye with a soft gaze. Four, five, six. This posture seals in the energy we created through our practice. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Inhale, slowly sit up in Padmasana and Yana Mudra with the index and thumb together on the knee. We sit tall and look at the tip of the nose. One, Two, three, four, expand the fibers of the lungs in a thousand directions. Five, six, seven, full breathing, eight, Nine and ten. Our last posture, Uta Plutihi. We pick ourselves up, we lift our lotus out of the mud, maybe in cross legged or in lotus, and here we go. Up, one, two, three, four, knees up, head down, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Ten and exit and lie down on your back for the corpse pose. Shavasana, straight legs, palms face up. And we're just going to let the practice speak for itself. Feel the effects of the art of yoga. Enjoy deep relaxation for a few minutes.